Hi guys and welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we have this really nice tutorial for a headband for these last really cold days um, of this year. I really love the color. It's this nice mustard yellow color, um, kind of in a knitting pattern. And it's this merino stretch wool from Wooly Hugs. Um, I'm gonna show you in a minute um, some more details of this wool. It's nice and stretchy, which is great for a headband. Um, you can kind of see what happens when you stretch um, the fabric. And I think it's awesome for, for headbands um, because of this stretch exactly. And um, yesterday I actually tested this wool um, in another color. Um, yeah, just to see how it kind of works with this wool to crochet. And I'm gonna show you what I did here now. And so this is the Wooly Hux um, Merino Stretch Wool in this nice mustard yellow. It's the uh, number 123. It's a very special wool with some stretch um, fabrics, as you can see here. And this is perfect for headbands, um, just because, yeah, you exactly, that's what you want for a headband, um, some slight stretch, um, which makes it, yeah, you know, just be nice and tight around your head, but not, not too much. Um, exactly, so here we have 47% wool, 47% polyacrylic, and 6% um, polyester elite. And you can see here that you have these um, three little strings that are uh, twisted around um, each other. And even those actually are made up of, of tiny little strings. And I think it's really nice. It's, um, it's super soft. Uh, it's 50 grams and 110 meters. And um, yeah, the color I already mentioned. And so let's take off this label here. And what I'm actually going to do here for my headband is that I will crochet it, this ball of yarn from the inside and the outside at the same time. I'm going to use my size 8 crocheting hook. And um, it's meant for size 3.5 to 4.5 crocheting hook, but we're going to take a double and so uh, the number 8 should work really well. And so I'm kind of pulling out here the middle of the ball of yarn to get the end. And I will take it together with the beginning of the ball just to have it um, yeah, in doubles. And so here's what I have here. This is both ends or slash the beginning and the end of the ball of yarn. Um, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna start here. And so I pull the yarn through here, through the loop, and that's our beginning um, of the crocheting. And so we're gonna start here with some chain stitches. Um, I'm gonna do it a little shorter than the head circumference of the person that um, you're crocheting this for. And so I usually have like 54 centimeters head circumference um, for headbands and for, um, for hats. And so I'm gonna do 50 to 52 centimeters here. Um, that's what we're gonna do. And so there's not really any need to count these chain stitches here uh, because we'll just measure it later and see the exact length that we're going for. And you can see here that taking uh, the two threads at the same time with a size eight crocheting hook is working really, really well. Um, this seems, yeah, to go really easily. It's, yeah, 50 grams and 110 meters um, of wool. And that should be plenty for this headband. And yeah, you can see here that uh, when you take the wool double, it actually is, is a really quick progress. Okay, so here is my measuring tape, and I, yeah, I have to say, um, I'm trying not to stretch the wool here um, because we want the 52 centimeters in the unstretched situation. And so I'm gonna add a few more stitches here. It was only 47 centimeters, so I'm gonna add a few more stitches. Two, three, four. Maybe that's enough now. Um, I'll measure that again in a minute. And then what I'm gonna do is um, actually closing up these chain stitches here to a, to a loop, to a ring. And so I'm kind of, kind of putting it here on the table. And it's really important that there's no um, twists and turns in um, within this chain. So you kind of wanna see the same um, pattern up always. You don't wanna have it be twisted around. And so we go into the first stitch of, the, of these chain stitches. Okay, and so we connected them here. We made a ring out of it. And so what I'm gonna do here is I do one chain stitch for height and then um, all the way around, we're gonna do single stitches. 
So we look for the stitch, the next stitch in line, and we do a single stitch into it. Okay, so we poke here through the stitch and we pull the thread through and then pull it through both of the, both of the threads. This is a very simple method. Um, single stitches all the way around, nothing crazy. You'll get the hang of it really, really quickly. Okay, so this is the first row done. And so we're back at the beginning. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue in spirals here. I'm not gonna do anything, um, yeah, anything crazy here. So where I'm gonna poke in now is I'm not going into the stitch of the row before, but a little further down. So in kind of in between these two um, threads. And so this is where I'm poking in right there. And then we continue going in single stitches. And here comes the next single stitch. That's how you're kind of achieving this like knitted look. It's sometimes a little hard to, yeah, to fully poke through with your crocheting hook here, but definitely doable. So you can see here um, what the pattern looks like. And so where we're poking through is always like in between. Yeah, here you can see what it looks like from the other side. Yeah, just between these two, two pairs of threads. Here again. And that's how it's gonna continue. I'm gonna do a few more rounds. Um, actually, I'm gonna go until the next, um, until the next end of the round. And then I'll show you in a little update again. Okay, so here we are at the end of this row again. You can see here that I am, yeah, back at the beginning basically of where we joined together um, the two, yeah, the chain stitches from the very beginning. And so here we continue the same way we did the row before. And so I'm just gonna continue crocheting here just as we did the row before. And we do single crochets again. Okay, here you can see where the, the rounds join and you can barely see it at all. Uh, you have this really nice crocheting, the nice knitting pattern, and I'm gonna continue doing this maybe around three more rows. Okay, so here we are um, at, yeah, a few rows later basically, and you can see how nicely this pattern looks. Um, it's kind of a knitting pattern that's always just a slight tilt towards the left but I think it looks really nice. It looks like it's knitted. Um, yeah, as if you, you knitted this on the right, right hand. And so here you can see the inside slash the outside, depending. <laughs> and so you have um, the same pattern here, a little um, less pronounced, I would say. Here it is, yeah, just more visible, which I really like. I think it looks really pretty. Um, here's a little bit of thread left, or two threads left, I guess. I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna pull it tight. Um, what I, um, I stopped right here in the middle of a round, basically not at the end of the round, but because it's in spirals, it doesn't really matter. So I'm kind of going into the next stitch here and I'm gonna pull through the two threads. Um, and then I'm gonna go around and um, go back into the stitch that I came from. And here you can see that it's gonna be a nice, um, smooth transition up here. You're not gonna be able to notice. i pull it a little more, and here you can see that it's barely visible. 
And so this thread, obviously, we're going to still hide um, into the fabric, but then we're, we're done with this headband, actually. So you can see the color is really nice. The stretch you can see here um, is really helpful for um, headbands. And I think it just looks great. Um, this wool has been very easy to crochet with. And um, yeah, I can highly recommend it. Thank you guys for watching DIY Ideas. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free. You'll always be the first one to be informed about a new video. Please share this video with your friends and see you next time.